friends and welcome back to Book Girl. In today's video, we're actually doing something consistently art related that isn't just me badly recording me drawing something on a time lapse. And that is, I have discovered digital art. I mean, I knew it existed for a while, but like now I can actually do it because iPad and Apple Pencil and Sketchbook. Sketchbook is the app I am using. It is a free art app and it's it, it's pretty great. I mean, just the blending. There's this one brush that's like this dark pencil that I really like that you'll see in a couple of my drawings. This one's just the normal sketch pencil and then like a fine liner brush. But the rest of them are done in the same brush all the way through because I love that brush so much and it's basically the only one I ever use but they've got so many more and as you can see I use them a lot like way a lot uh, most of these drawings are on double time lapse because if they weren't this video would be something like 30 minutes long for some of these drawings, if they're super long like this one, I'm going to cut out the voice recording and add some music. So, yeah, I will be doing that right now. No, I won't, because it's almost over. Yep. By the way, this soundtrack kind of sounds like something Billie Eilish would put in a song, I don't know. This one, in particular, is where I'm definitely just discovering this brush, which is consistently the only thing I ever use. Uh, this is an example of a lot of the different brushes on Sketchbook. Watercolor, the eraser, the pencil. I, I don't know. I can only talk and sound interesting for so long. This one, I, I think I just called it Sunset because I'm great with names. Yeah. If I am not mistaken, in this drawing, I think I think this is the purple girl drawing. I'm not sure because I haven't rewatched this footage yet. I am now just piecing it together. And, oh, yeah, here's me failing at drawing hair because I mean I, I I'm bad at voiceovers. Okay, I can draw, I can talk while I'm drawing, but I can't. I can't draw and then talk afterwards because I don't know what was going through my brain. In case you haven't noticed, a lot of the things I draw somewhat resemble me, sort of. This is probably one of the biggest examples. This and the one after. Pale, reddish brown hair because I am the one off the top of my head like image that I have to do. Because I can just be like, oh, look, here's what I'll draw. I'll draw something that looks like me. Yeah. You're going to notice a definite theme in the earlier drawings of short, round people. Because that's all I knew how to draw. Um, you see, at first, I used drawing with waffles, like, art style thing. You know, like, Wobblerkle. If, if you've never seen that, you should watch it. I will put, I, I might put a link in the description if I can find it again, but yeah, definitely check that out because the drawing after the one after this one is how I, is how I did that one. Yeah. <laughs> probably the drawing that resembles me the most because you'll notice the green, the pale, 
and I used to have short hair. So, yeah, this, this one definitely looks a lot like me, in my opinion. And, as you can see, I, I really like the mirror tool, because I, I drew that body in, like, 30 seconds. It, it, did, it honestly didn't take me very long at all. This is definitely a very, very long recording, so I think I might cut out a little bit of stuff. So, so you kind of get the beginning, and then the end, and then the next drawing. Because if it's short enough, I'll leave the entire thing. Just, just know that. Yeah. <laughs> right here has got to be my best drawing yet I mean like this is the one I was saying that I use drawing with waffles art style video for because it, it just looks so much better taller and less plump and just generally looks more like a human being can't get much better than that and I also discovered that you can blend colors and make colored hair so I had some fun I have some fun with that in later drawings I'm also getting a little ambitious here and straying away from something that doesn't look like me, so I, I'm definitely proud of myself on that one. Still kind of looks like me, though, if I were tan, but, you know, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. I think this clip is short enough I can show the entire thing because I definitely take a shortcut with not coloring in the shirt, so you'll just me either being awkwardly silent or actually talking depending yeah see one really really useful thing with sketchbook is that you know how copic copics and like most other markers have numbers like um i, I don't know they just have numbers well in sketchbook they actually have the copic colors like there's a setting that's called copic so most of these um colors i've chosen for this drawing and most of the drawings are from the Copic colors. This is me reverting back to old ways by making them short and kind of chubby. And me using the mirroring tool, not here, but with the legs, because they both look exactly the same. I failed at drawing curly hair, didn't like long hair. And if that line on the face is triggering you, then don't worry, I get rid of it in the end because it's triggering me just as much. It's it's just like, whose face looks like that? No one's? But I do fix it. Not That isn't me fixing it. It's just darker, which makes it all the more. Yeah, see? Now it's fixed. Now it looks normal. And again, me being a rebel by giving her purple hair. Yay. Purple shoes. Don't know why I did that, because they're exactly the same color. And for some reason, this skin tone is kind of orange, but hey, I mean, it's not, it's, it's orange up close, but probably just looking at it from far away, it's not that orange. I was going for not tan, but not pale either, so this is kind of what I came up with. And that arm, like, if you straightened out that arm, that arm would be so much shorter than the other one, but... I didn't have the patience with myself to fix it, so I didn't fix it. Sorry, I know this song is like on constant repeat, but it's it's one of the only ones that isn't like annoyingly happy. I mean, not, not that saying like happy music is a bad thing, but like this wasn't one of the ones that makes you want to go frolic in the woods with a bunch of bunnies. It, it was the most chill one I could find. So, that's what I did. I actually originally had an entire album full of music for, like, TV shows that I found on iTunes. But that just all went down the toilet when they put the clip soundtrack on movies. Yay. And this is, um... This is my first time tracing something. 
because you see I just finished up making a second digital art iMovie but I decided I would probably be better off making a voice recording so in the other two I have two so in the other video I have two voice ugh, I have two clips of me tracing things and they both took a ridiculous amount of time so I'm just gonna cut this one short a little bit add some music and you will be fast forwarded to the end <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's definitely one of my better art videos because I don't have to have a camera awkwardly positioned over my shoulder. Thanks for watching!